hi in this example we will create a php script that will monitor a web page that is when the script will be executed it will tell us if the page has changed or not since the last time the same script was executed so let's begin by creating the more page that php script so php and i start by declaring the first file which is v1 which will hold the url of the page that we want to monitor so it's um, let's say jrc.com security now let's grab this url here copy and paste it here and again i need a second file fv2 which be a local file in which we will put the contents of the security now page so let's just call it more page that text so first i need to open the web page so file one equals f open fv1 and i need to open this in read binary mode I use read binary mode because I will use another function which is string get continent which takes as a parameter the handler of an opened file in read binary mode so this is why I added here rp so the file is file 1 and that's it now I have the continent and I want to save that in this file here so first I need to create that file touch fv2 then file2 equals if open and I want to open the second file fv2 and I want to open it in read plus mode because I want to write to it with the function f write so I want to write to file f file2 and I want to write the continent of the variable continents and that's it now uh, I need to close the handlers if close so file one and then if close file two so let's test this before going any further php and then more page dot php and there we go it's connecting to the internet now to grab the contents of the security now that html page so let's type uh, more page that text and there we go we have the contents of that page next what i want to do is calculate the hash of this file here so and the hash is like a fingerprint to a file so let's do that here hash one goes md5 file so we will use the md5 algorithm to calculate the hash of the fv2 file and let's again echo that hash let's test this second time and there we have our hash it's uh, 256 bit so now what i want to do is save this hash to another file which i will uh, declare here if the three which is let's say hash dot text so i will open this first i will create the file fv3 and i will open it file 3 using the function f open and so i open fv3 and i want to open it in read plus mode because i want to write to it so f write and then i want to write to file 3 the content of the hash one variable 
and then f close the five three so this way i will have the hash in the file and when i calculate the this hash here i will compare the one in the file with with this one so let's grab the file but first i need to uh, test if it exists so if file exists and the file is fv3 if it doesn't exist i will just create it create a new one fv3 and after that i will open it file 3 and i use f open to open fv3 and i will open it just in a read mode because i don't need to write to it i just want to uh, read from it so i want to write read the hash to f read so i read the file 3 and i want to read just 256 bit which is 32 bytes and that's it so let's echo the the hash two and f close again the file which is five three i need here uh, a new line so So let's test this now. There is the first hash. So execute again. There we go. Now we have the hash in the uh, file. The first time there, there was nothing because we, we, it was just created now we have an old hash and a new one the hash text and there is the old hash which was calculated here so again if i execute this script again it will generate a new script uh, a new hash sorry and the, there is the old one and by comparing the two we see that the page has changed so obviously this page has something dynamic in it and which gets changed every time we request this uh, page so let's go to another page which is more static I'll go to php.net and let's see downloads let's grab this url and go here and paste save so execute again obviously we have the uh, this hash here as the old one and we have the new one here so let's execute again and this time we should have the same hash because the page uh, doesn't change okay so if i execute again we see that the hash is the same so the page doesn't change it's it's static it has no dynamic content so let's now tell the user that the page hasn't changed and that's easy we just use an if statement so if hash one equals hash uh, two then equal to the user a message telling him uh, i need a new line the page has not changed otherwise I, we will tell the user that the page has changed else the page has changed so save this and execute again and there we go the page has not changed because we have the same hash so another time we execute and we get the page has not changed so that worked perfectly thank you